So anyway, so thank you so much for being with me. This is Alejandra Gomez with creatingreality.com. I am super excited because tomorrow we have a brand new catalog and somewhere here I have it, but still I cannot show it today until tomorrow. But I wanted to kick up this week and go live every day this week. And I'm just going to be sharing one part every day featuring one of the uh, bundles that I have so far gotten. Um, and so that way you can get excited with me as well. So for today, Oh, let me just make sure. Jandra here. Thank you so much for being here. So sweet. <laughs> Hola, gordita. And um, so anyway, so for today, I wanted to show you the color and contour bundle, which it is this one, as you can see. And I really love it because I feel like you can do different um, techniques, if you will. I love that you can either color these images with either um, your uh, watercolors, your blends, um, with your ink pad. So I think that this is a good one. And I'll be honest, I was not that thrilled with the images. However, the, the more I play with it, the more I love it. And definitely I love the sentiments. I love the fun on it. And this sentiment here has become one of my favorites. I think I've used it in so many cards. I've been participating in several swaps and I think I've used them or I used that sentiment in like two of them because I just love it. I feel like it's a great one. Um, now, this one comes with a die set that comes like this. Um, and you can die cut, oh, here. You can die cut the flowers, as you can see, but then you have escalope edge, as well as the, oh, this, uh, as well as the uh, escalope rectangles, which is really cool. So anyway, look, let me start flipping the camera. And then at the end, I'll just talk a little bit more. So let me just turn on the lights here first so that everything is working. And let me just do the flipping of the camera. All right, so I think you can see me now. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me just make sure everything is fine. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing, Kay. I really appreciate it. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Hi, Pat. I'm so excited to have you here. Uh, so anyway, so very excited. And you're going to see that this week is going to be full of many surprises. So anyway, so you can see it here. It's better to show it here. I love the, uh, one of the things that I love from this one is that every single rectangle that you see has like a different uh, decorative edge. So you can see this one has little dots. Um, this one has lines. This one has stitches. This one has stitches, but it's more like a dot. And then this one has um, um, like, uh, I don't know how to say that, but you can see like little holes in the escalope. So it looks really, really nice. Definitely has been one of my favorites. And then we have this edge, which also makes like little stitch marks. So definitely a great bundle to have. And like I said, these will be available tomorrow. So actually it's gonna be, if you wait till midnight, you're gonna be able to order them like today at midnight. <laughs> so, or actually tomorrow, but at midnight. So anyway, um, I'm gonna be using this stamp set. Of course, I'm gonna be using this sentiment and that's it. I already die cut or pre-cut everything else. So I'm gonna move this one away. And then, um, I'm gonna be using this designer series paper, which is the one with the fancy petals designer series paper. And you'll be uh, seeing me using it this later on. But one of the things I love is that it has lots of the, you can see I've been playing with it a lot, but it has lots of the in colors as well. So you can see this one has the uh, Frisch Frisia, some of the um, pale papaya, so let me just share here because I feel like then here's the self succulent then you have these leaves all of this can be that cut again I'm not going to be focusing too much on the paper just because I'm going to be showing you um, in a different day how to play it with the pencils but let me just show you that fancy this one so this is the one that we're going to be using on a later card but I love it because every single flower on this one can be die cut so anyway but like I said, more on this one tomorrow, as or later in the week. Um, so anyway, so here we have all the measurements. And this is a type of card that I don't think I've made here before. So I'm kind of excited. And what I did on this one, and let me just make sure I have all my measurements here. So this one, I cut the piece and it was, um, it was uh, four and one quarter by 11. 
And then let me just make sure how much I cut. Actually, let me just bring the roller. That way I can tell you. Then I cut this one to be, oh, these are centimeters. These are uh, seven and three quarters of an inch, as you can see here. And I scored it at, if I go from here to here, at five and a half, because that's the half of, a, of my piece. And I did that so that I could have a little flap, if you will. Again, this was a long piece. It was just the half of a sheet. And then I just cut it at seven and, and three eighths. And then from the piece that I got left, right, I cut another piece. And this one is two and one, um, one quarter by four and one quarter. And so this one is gonna go this way, okay? Um, I have a piece of basic white. And this one is four by five and one quarter. And so this one is going to go inside, all right? And then I cut out the designer series paper with a mat. And so this one is four by two. And this one is two and one eighth by four and one eighth. So it's gonna be a one eighth of an inch larger than this piece. So, the way I'm picturing this one is one of those cards where you have these sections and then this one is exactly the same measurements. You can see here two by four and this one is one eighth of an inch larger. So this one is two and eighth, one eighth by four and one eighth. So it's exactly the same measurements. And this is in the pale papaya, which is one of our brand new colors. And this is gonna go right here, okay? So that's how I picture this one. And then I die cut it one of the uh, escalope rectangles from the same bundle as you can see. And, um, and then I cut out a piece of uh, basic black, the basic white that is gonna go right there. Now this one is two by three and one quarter. And you can see it's slightly larger than that, but um, just so that it fits nicely on uh, in between those stitch marks because I still want them to be seen, but I want it to fit nicely. And so I was picturing to have my car something like this. And then I have a scrap of paper and this one is one inch by like three, let me just see. It's actually um, three quarters of an inch by two and five eighths, which is where I'm gonna be adding the sentiment, the one that I told you that I love the most. So really simple card, but I think it's gonna have a wow factor, if you will. So anyway, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and um, glue, it. well actually no, let's just go ahead and color this part. Let's just color this before anything else. And let me, here it is. Because it's a photopolymer stamp, I'm going to bring my uh, pierce mat. And I'm going to be doing this with um, the, um, what is this color? Early Express. So just because I want a really black image. And you know what? Before I do that, I need a scrap of paper here. I need a scrap of paper here. And I'm gonna be putting this one right here. Okay. Oh, all right, so I have this one here. And then where is the one for the sentiment? Um, here. I'm just gonna move this one for a bit. And then I'm gonna put this one that says, you are absolutely amazing, which like I said, is now one of my favorite sentiments. I feel like this one could go really well for so many, um, for so many occasions really, or for so many people, you know? There we go. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and color our image here. And then for this, I'm gonna go ahead and use the blends of the uh, pale papaya. Let me just make sure. Yeah, pale papaya and pale papaya. 
And then I have here the Just Jays. I'm gonna go ahead and color the uh, flowers first with the lighter color. Super easy. I love that um, these images, um, the, the images on this set is really easy to color, to be honest. And there are some uh, coordinating, um, and I'm not gonna be doing so much of a blending, I'm just adding just a few highlights, if you will. But um, you could also, there we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead. Um, you could also use that image from, from the stamp set. So let me just show you what I mean with that. You could also use this one. It will fit this one, but just make sure you know that it's not fitting perfectly. So that it leaves a little bit of pieces in white, which is okay, it looks nice. It looks very artistic as well. So, but just something to you know, oh, I forgot about this little section. And then I'm going to be using the light of the Just Jade. And I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit of that color. Here. There we go. Very simple as you can see. Here you have it. Very simple and it looks really nice. So you could easily be making multiples of these. There's no issues with this one. I love when I have uh, something that goes really fast because uh, yeah, if I need to do like thank you cards or something like that, it goes just faster. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing everything. Just go ahead and add this little piece and then glue this one down. To this section. All right, and this is gonna go right here. Let me just add this one. And again, it's going to be just one part per day, just to not make it too overwhelming. And Thursday, instead of doing three cards, because I'm doing this every day, I'm also going to be only doing one day. That way, I'm not taking too much of your, of your evening. <laughs> All right, so. There we go. All righty, let's just center these as well. All righty, I'm gonna go ahead and add this one right here. This one has to kind of match this section, right? Okay, and I'm just gonna be putting right now my bone folder, just to kind of hold it in place, because this piece is gonna be the one that is um, matching or joining them, okay? So now for these, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play with this a little bit and see, I want this one, again, you gotta be careful with this one because you want it to be lining up nicely here. And then have it there. Now, before I do that, 
see, and maybe I need to move it to this side because I want the sentiment to be here, right? So yeah. And I may need to move this one a little bit in the bottom so that I have enough space here. Okay, now for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my scissors. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in an angle. And this one is gonna go like so, okay? And um, before I do that, I want to bring first, because I I'm going to be adding a bow and so as always i like to see how it looks before i glue anything just so that i can see which one i like and so this is the new um ribbon and this is the open with ribbon and this one is the one that comes for all the in color so i have here the self succulent as well as the pale papaya i don't know which one i want so let's just do one of each and see which one would be nicer for a second i thought of putting the self succulent but i don't know maybe i like see the pickle pie it looks nice so that looks nice and let's do this one as well i've been using the self succulent in a lot of my projects and as you go as we go through the weeks through the week you're going to see some of those projects um so i think that self succulent will be a very popular so Here's that one. I think I like better the the pale papaya. So I'm gonna go with the pale papaya for this one. But you can see that's why I love making the bow and see which one I like. And if I don't like it, then I just undo it, right? So yeah, I think that the pale papaya looks much better. So I'm gonna go with this one. And so let's go ahead and cut the ends. And here we go. And I love how nice the bows are made with this one because some of the sheer ribbon um, makes funny bows sometimes. Like it, it kind of, it's a little bit, I don't want to say that it's hard, but I don't know, it, the shape doesn't go sometimes that well. And I, I, I um, when using this one, I felt like this one was so easy. I mean, just me making, making the bow, it was like no big deal. So, okay, so now at this point, I love how it looks. I'm just gonna be putting this one right there. This one will go right here. I'm, we'll move this one more towards this section. See, so this is why I always like to see how I like it. There you go. And there we go. Yeah, so we're gonna go with this. All right, so for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, adhesive on this section and then on this section. So I have on this section, like, if I go all the way to like five escalopes, I'm good, and then on this one, like three. So that's gonna be my reference. Because you don't want to go over that as uh, you're gonna shut your car and go through the through this part and you don't want that yes i feel like that's good and again you just want to make sure you have this one hold there we go now, hopefully at this point, see, there's no glue. And it looks really nice, right? And I love how it makes that um, that opening. Now, when you're addressing this one, you definitely wanna be addressing it here or here, and maybe on this section, but not on this side so that it doesn't show up. Now that's, I mean, that will be my preference, but of course it's your car and <laughs> you can do however you want it. So now I'm gonna be adding this one right here and then the sentiment here, and I'll be adding dimensionals for that one. So what do you think, do you like it? Like I said, super easy car. And um, definitely I love how it turned out. And I'll show you another example using this set so that um, you get excited because I feel like this is gonna be one of the favorite ones, I'll be honest. And like I said, at the very beginning, that was not like my first choice, but the more I play with it, oh my gosh, 
like I really like it a lot. So there we go. We're gonna go ahead and add a blue dot. There we go. And I might need to cut a little bit on that section. I don't like when the um, buzz go too long from the side. I think that's okay. It's not too much. And then, let me see, do I still have the Genial gems? I feel like I do. Hold on. I've been using so much of those that, oh yeah, here it is. Let's just add some of those. See these? Really beautiful. These are the Genial gems. And these are in another uh, collection as well, but this is one of the things that I am loving from the products this time. I feel like everything coordinates nicely between all the products. It's not really related to the one switch. You can mix and match, as you can see. Um, where is my, your face? So, oh, here. So, I could use, like I could put one here. And believe it or not, this is my second pack of the Genial Gems, which I think is crazy. There we go. Love it. And here you have it. Oh, you know what? We can do some Wake of Estella as well on the flowers. So let's just add a little bit of Wink of Estella. to make it even prettier. I love Wink of Estella. Here we go. And this card just looks fantastic. I don't know if you can see the Wink of Estella. I don't know that I can see it. Oh, here we go. See that? It just add a little bit of shimmery. Look how beautiful. And a very simple card, as you can see. And you just have a well factor right there. Do you like it? <laughs> You're liking it. Thank you so much. All right. So now let me just show you a few other samples with this one. Of course, we needed to make one that was with a fresh preset because, come on, you know I love the purple. So here's another one. And this one is using the um, this image and that one, as you can see here. And of course, you're gonna see how I'm using again that sentiment. Let me just take it out of the baggie so that you can see it. I did um, tone on tone, but then I textured this card or the first layer. And then I added some of that same designer series paper that I show. And of course the coordinating uh, ribbon for this one. Now for this, I use pearls as you can see, and they go really well, don't you think? Now, I forgot to add some Wink of Estella, so while I have it out, I probably need to add the Wink of Estella because all the flowers looks even better with the Wink of Estella. And like I said, I love that it is very, just has a very artistic look. So definitely one of my favorites for sure. There we go. There we go. So um, here's one. And then um, I, um, if you're local in Texas, I'm going to be having a class in the Arlington Convention Center during the scrapbook convention. And so that class is actually going to be featuring that, uh, let me show you here, that um, bundle. So let me just show you the samples so you can get an idea. You can see how nice, in this case, I did the pel uh, pel papaya and then the sentiment. And I mix and match with other paper. Here is this one again. And as you can see here, I've used the stamp set rather than coloring with the, with the uh, blends. And you can see it, it gets a very artistic look as well. Um, then I have this one. And of course this one is using a different punch, which I'm gonna be showing you later in the week, but it uses that sentiment. Like I said, I've been using that sentiment so long, so much. And then of course you have this one and um, you have here the sentiment but look at the paper and again, that escalope edge that, uh, or rectangle that goes really well. So if you're local, you can go to the Arlington Convention to the GAS, which I think is the Great American Scrapbook Convention. And you can sign up already for that class. 
And also, uh, if you're not local, I'm also be providing a link later on to sign up for that same class. That way, if you're not local and are interested in that class, definitely you're gonna go there. You can take that class and it includes eight projects for that one. So it's two of the different four designs. So anyway, so this is the first project. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me know which one is your favorite. I think I like this one just because it's a um, different type of fold or card. Uh, but of course, the purple, it's calling my name, right? I could have also done the same in a purple, don't you think? I mean, seriously, and then we have a winner. <laughs> but anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate um, for you to be here. Let me just see, will you have the PDF for the, oh yeah, Michelle, yes. Yeah. So I will be having a PDF as well. So if uh, I will be offering as a make and take kit as well, as well as a PDF. So yes, it will be there. I, I don't have it just yet for the reason that um, the system that I used to get all the links does not have the products just yet. So I cannot release those. I have everything ready, but I cannot create the PDF without the supply list. So, but it's coming, it's coming. So anyways, so thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow and with another car. And I'm super excited to have you here. <laughs> Bye for now. Oh, and don't forget tomorrow, you're gonna start ordering this product. I put the link to, or I put in the description, the host code so that if you like anything, like in this case, if you like this bundle, make sure you order it through me. Uh, there's a host code and I forgot to mention, I have a new May uh, ordering incentive. So anyone who places an order of $50 will get a full uh, Gilded Gems um, as the accessory of the month. If the order is $100, you get the Gilded Gems plus a free tutorial from me, um, so, which is valued at $20, and it's from my store, so you pick whichever you like. And then um, if your order is $150, do not use the host code because you can get stamping rewards. So anyway, so thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.